Okay. So, you need your paper and your crowns. Here's my example one that I drew. Now, I'm not completely done with it yet. We will finish it next week, like I said. But this is what yours will look like after today, okay? So I'm going to hang it up here. And if you notice before I hang it up, my line is not quite centered on the paper, okay? That was an accident, but it's okay. Uh, if you want yours perfectly centered in the paper, that's fine too. All right, so I'm going to draw up here. I'm going to erase my paper that I had here. So we are starting with our crowns. And I'm going to use a black marker um, because that's what I'm going to outline the face with. If you are worried that you might mess up, you might want to use your pencil to draw the outline of his face and his eyes with. And then you can go over them with crown. Okay, if you draw with pencil, make sure you draw lightly so you can erase it if you need to. All right, so what we're going to start with is we're going to start with his nose. I'm going to move this up here so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so his nose is pretty much just a triangle shape. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do it's probably on a cat, it's probably like their cheeks. So you're doing two circles or circular shapes that join up under his nose or around his nose. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. Mine aren't quite even here and they won't be quite even here. Then you need his mouth, so that's underneath his cheeks. So right now you've got his nose and his mouth drawn. I'm going to fix it because mine isn't quite the same on both sides. There we go. That's a little better. Now I need to do the line coming up from his nose so I know where to draw his eyes at. All right. So I just did two lines, and basically that's going to tell me where his eyes are going to go. So similar to human eyes, a lion's eyes are kind of a football shape. Now I know that my eyes are kind of hard to see up here, especially if I smile, they disappear. But if you look in the mirror at your eyes, they look like a football shape, okay? What I mean by that is their shape is kind of like this, okay? If you want to practice your eyes first, you can practice in your sketchbook. I know the eyes are kind of tricky, especially when you're trying to make two that are pretty similar. Okay, so if you need to practice first, you can pause the video and go and practice drawing your eyes. If you think you can do it without practice, that is fine. What you're going to do is you're going to draw them right next to this line, okay? Alright, I've got one. Now the real test is, can I do another one that's almost the same? That's the hard part. Alright, so those are pretty close to being the same. A little bit different, but okay. Now I need to do the pupil inside the eye. So what I'm going to do is two curved lines. It's kind of like if I were to draw a circle, but not have the top or the bottom. I'm going to move my computer so you can see that a little better. Do right, you see what I did? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do a line and a line. Okay? All right. Now I have to do the black part within his eye and I'm going to do a line down because cat eyes are a little bit different than our eyes. Our eyes, the black part of our eyes, I can't even remember what that's called right now, um, it is round but cats aren't. Okay, so I've got that colored in. Now what I need to draw is his head. Alright, 
So before I do that, we're going to look up a picture of a cat or of a lion's face just so you can see what it looks like before we draw it. All right. There's a, I like this one. So you can see their eyes. You can see the shape they have and the black line. It doesn't go all the way down like mine did. But you can see his nose, the way his face is shaped. So it's bigger at the top and then it angles down for his mouth. Okay. All right. So we're ready to draw now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line from about his eye down to his mouth. that's going to be the line for his face. Now I'm going to go ahead and add his ears, which are like, kind of like half circles. And again, if you think you need to practice these before you draw them, you can practice them in your sketchbook, okay? So, I'm going to go back and double check and see if there's any place that I need to fix. If I need to fix here because it didn't quite match up, you can do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your crowns to color in his face. All right. You do not want to use your crowns to color in his mane. All right. Now, we are making this a male lion just because I think their manes are beautiful. And that's what we're going to do. I'll give you a sneak peek in the next week. We're going to use our markers to make paint. Okay, so as long as you have markers and hopefully you have a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, it's okay. But um, if you do, we will use our markers to make watercolor. Okay, um, so you have to use your crowns on his face. All right, if you need to look up a picture of a lion or rewind it to the picture that I showed you to know what colors you should use, you can go ahead and do that. I would advise, they are mostly kind of a yellowy brown color. So I would advise using yellow and brown. You can mix those colors together. I did some for his ears, um, but his nose should be black or brown. And you can pick what color his eyes are. You can make them realistic and do them kind of a golden color, or you could color them in a funky color like I did mine. So I'm not going to spend the rest of the class coloring this in with you all. Um, you go ahead and color in your lion. Remember, do not color in his mane. Do not color in his mane. All right. Just color his face in with your crowns. Do a really nice job. And I will see you next week. Keep up with your lion picture. All right. Bye, guys.